why, see, discipleship is critical because that's what Jesus did, man. That was the, that's, that was the purpose of actually the existence of the church. It wasn't just to build big buildings and for us to spend our lives doing multiple campaigns and to be wrapped up in programs that give us illusions that we're worshiping God when all we're doing is sitting and singing to ourselves. I think uh, discipleship is critical because that's the call of the church. In Ephesians chapter 4, he says the main purpose of the church is to equip the saints. So in other words, you know, how I see it is you know, here you have the world and the church builds its, its organization and we ask the people to come out of the world into the church building and then we ask them to put on our t-shirts. We give them a new language, sing our songs, become a small group leader. We give them our job description and then we ask them to go back into the world and they don't have to know how to relate. That's why they only see church one day a week. The reality is, here's the world. The church may be here, but God says you're supposed to go into the world. And you're supposed to equip them. So it's not so much about them fulfilling the church's destiny or the vision of the organization of the church, but it's the church actually helping the people find their destiny and then equipping them to make a difference in their world. It's a totally different mindset. But can you imagine if... The resources that typically go, typically go to professional staff and buildings went into actually equipping the people. You know, from a practical perspective, I've launched a couple consulting agencies. One from a secular perspective, um, which is mostly based in Asia, and then one here in the U.S. and also Asia. And what I've realized is that people will pay high dollar for consultancy. You know, from, if you do a C-level corporate executive, they're paying five to $15,000 for a consult. That's for like one consultation. It's a deep dive into who they are. When we were doing this, I realized this is exactly what the church should be doing. They should take the time to listen to people. Instead of just vomiting um, their vision to them and their strategies, it should be they should listen to their voice and what God's done in their life and help them define their destiny and then customize their development based upon their learning style, not just some academic approach. It needs to be much more creative, collaborative, and customized. So discipleship is critical. I see it as one of the main functions of how we're to be the church, especially when it comes to the leadership. We're to equip people. The other thing that's interesting about discipleship to me that the church needs to do is not so much about, again, classes, as it is life together. It's, it's choosing to live with people. Because that's where the messiness of discipleship really takes root. And also it tends to grow. It's when you, that's where the soil's tilled. It's in the daily life and routines of community. And community not defined as a small group, but community defined as a family. If you really see yourself as family, you're going to treat yourself very differently or treat others differently. And then you'll see discipleship is not a program. You'll see it as real life. 